A, and a lot of the media will help him say it and amplify it, is that this problem wouldn't be so bad if Republicans would just work with me to help me pass more money, and they're the ones to, that killed the bill because <laughs> President Trump told them to, and they're afraid of him. That, that, that's what he's going to say. Now, that will ignore three years of history and reporting. Like Rich Lowry had a piece in National Review this week that said President Biden's policy on the border started uh, in February of 2021. He started with the executive orders. He wanted to dismantle everything President Trump had done. And in fact, if you remember, when, at this point during the Democratic primary uh, right before Super Tuesday, President Biden and all the nominees for the Democrats raised their hand and said that they would be for decriminalizing crossing the border. So if they want to try to ignore three years of history, they will at attempt to do that. Now, Republicans have a challenge. They always have a communications challenge. They start at a deficit and they have to work their way up. But the fact that immigration is the number one issue surpassing the economy in 2024 as an issue means that this is a deep-seated issue. People are seeing it uh, where the pictures every day. I was surprised that Bill Malusian didn't say, and look right behind me, there's more people coming across. Because every time <laughs> well, you go to Bill Malusian, there's people there no matter where he is. Yeah. And so you have a crime issue, you have an economy issue. People in America want a legal system that works. We want immigrants to come here. But President Biden, I believe, is going to try to demonize all Republicans. And like he likes to tag all Republicans with that MAGA line. And I, I don't think it will work in the end, but watch him try. Bill Malugin, I think, has a condo in Eagle Pass. <laughs> I'm not sure. Brett, really quickly, making U.S. safer, improving border security with independence, this president is completely underwater. I'm he talking is. 20 to 75. He is, and I think Dan is right that he's going to try in the State of the Union address to address the issue. And he'll make the very claims she cited about the bill that, that came out of the Senate that was a bipartisan bill and did have a lot of things that, for example, the Border Patrol Union wanted to see passed. In fact, they endorsed the bill, and the Republicans ultimately rejected it. And I think you know, he'll argue that point endlessly. And, uh, and it, it, look, there's some truth in that. Mm -hmm. It at least gives him something to say. Thank I don't think it's going to overcome three years of what people have witnessed with the streaming uh, people across the border, uh, almost seemingly unchecked. So I, I think it's a tough issue for him. But he, at least at this moment, has something to say. But Republicans obviously point to H.R. 2, executive orders. Yeah, they I can mean, do a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, I've been fighting this issue off the border since 1996 when Bill Clinton did Operation Gatekeeper and was actually really good on the border in San Diego. My first report ever was on the border. So it's an issue I think I know some something about. And 